hello loves what is going on if you've never seen my face before my name is Lorraine I'm doing this whole business series just about different things in business things that you need to know things that I wish somebody would have told me so if you are super pumped for this business series go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up don't forget to like comment all that jazz and let's hop into today's video so to tell you guys a little bit more about me, what I do, what business I run. So like I said, my name is Loren and I am the founder and CEO of Jeray & Co. Um, we are your skincare plug. Literally, we have everything you need to take care of your skin and to give it the healthy glow that it needs. So meaning we provide what body butter, sugar scrubs, face washes, and so, so much more. We are your one-stop shop for everything all natural body products. So if you don't already follow us on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Jeray and Co. Um, and that's where you'll be kept up to date about everything. You know, you'll see reviews, testimonials, you'll see products, new releases. So definitely make sure you're following um, us on Instagram. Also, go ahead and head over to the website and subscribe to the newsletter because you guys know I am always giving away freebies, tips, tricks, so you definitely don't want to miss out. You want to join the Dre & Co. family. So I've officially been in business for a year, so of course I don't know everything, um, but there are just a lot of things that I wish people would have told me or that, um, you know, things I would have learned earlier rather than later. So that's why today's video is going to be about how to get capital to start your business. I know that. A lot of people want to start businesses, but they don't know a how to get the capital to start a business or b how to make that capital stretch in order to start their business. So um, we are going to go ahead and get into this list. I went ahead and wrote down a couple of different ideas for people to go ahead and get capital to start their business because I know that some businesses cost money to start. There are a lot of people on Instagram that be like, I started a business with zero dollars and blah, 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 blah. And I think that is doable if, for example, if you offer a service-based, um, you know, type service, like if you braid hair, if you um, do like video editing, if you already have the software in your computer, if you like babysit, like stuff like that, you don't need necessarily, you don't necessarily need capital to start. But um, for example, like with my business, I needed capital to start. I needed money to start to purchase the jars, to purchase the uh, the shea butter, to purchase the oils, to purchase uh, to purchase the things that was necessary. So this video is going to about, be about how to get that capital. So one of the first things or people you can talk to about starting your business and getting capital is friends and family. I know a lot of times when your friends and family find out that you have a business, they are one of your first supporters and um, they will give into your business. For example, if you need, let's just say $200 to start your business, you can go ahead and tell your friends and family like, hey, like, you know, I'm trying to start fill in the blank business. I'm trying to start a hair business. Um, and I, you know, I need some money to go ahead and start the business. Would you be okay with loaning me $20? Would you be okay with loaning me $40? And you go ahead and ask those friends and family members and see what they say. And I mean, honestly, a worst thing that they can say is no, or I don't have it, or I don't have the full amount, but you can still try to get some of the money from them. And they are honestly the best people to borrow money from because they're, you're going to be able to give it back easy. And also, if it takes you a little minute to get back that money, they'll be okay with that. So rather than versus like versus a bank, you know, they'll be okay with if you need to take a month or two to give them back their 20 or $40 or whatever. So they are a great place to start. Let's go ahead and look at my notebook. Um, number two is a little iffy, but it just depends on if you are old enough to go ahead and have a credit card. I know that credit cards can definitely help people start businesses. I've seen it all the time. Um, for example, if you apply for a credit card with a low interest rate, and for example, say if you only needed two or three hundred dollars, it is ideal to say, you know, under 30% of your credit cards. That's a whole nother video, but um, if you need, let's just say, two, let's just stick with the $200. So you need $200, you go ahead and use your credit card for it. That way, every month you can just pay them back. Or as soon as you get your first couple of sales, go ahead and give $50, $50, $50, $50, $50 and you're done. So credit cards are a great way to get capital for your business. You don't have to ask anybody. You don't have to do anything. You just have to have that credit card. So if you already have a credit card or you are okay with applying for one, then that is also a great source of revenue to go ahead and get the capital to start your business. Um, another great way is 
delivery apps such as DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub. Those are all great ways to get capital to start your business. I know that um, I DoorDashed before I started my business, just to like go ahead and have some extra money so I can get, you know, some of the nicer things like nicer packaging and things of that nature. Um, and if you live in a busy area, such as Charlotte, like I live in Charlotte, so Charlotte is a very busy area and a lot of people are constantly ordering food. I could make anywhere between 50 to hundred dollars just during dinner time. So those are great ways to go ahead and get capital. DoorDash for a week, get two, $300. That way you can go ahead and start your business with the capital that you're making from DoorDash. The cool thing about DoorDash is after a certain amount of um, dashes, you're able to cash out your money instantly. I know if you're just starting, you have to wait. I think it's every Monday, the money deposits, and depending on your bank, it might be available that Monday to that Wednesday. So for example, if you start DoorDashing on Monday, Monday through Sunday, they'll cash your money out on Monday, the next Monday morning and you'll be able to get it by that Tuesday or Wednesday. So that's a great way to go ahead and get your money within like a week um, or a week and less than a week and a half. Another super duper easy way is to sell your clothes to like Poshmark or Play-Doh's Closet and things of that nature. We all have clothes that we're not wearing that have just been sitting in our closets. And so a great way is to just go ahead and sell those clothes and they will give you cash on the spot and you take that money and you put it into your business. So that's another great way that I think a lot of people don't think about. You have so much in your closet that you're probably not wearing. So take a dive through your closet get a couple items together and go ahead and sell them to your local consignment shop and try to get some money. This one is a little bit tricky, but um, if, if anything else doesn't work and you're like, oh, I need money to start my business, a great way is to take out a personal loan. Depending on who you bank with, your interest rates will vary. Depending on your credit score, your interest rates will vary. Um, but it is a great way if nothing else works to go to your local bank or the bank that you bank with and ask for a personal loan. Now, just because they say, oh yeah, we'll give you $3,000. I, if, if that's not how much you need to start your business, I would not suggest taking, taking that. I would take the amount you know that you're gonna need. So for example, you're starting a hair business, you need your $200. But like I said, you know, things happen, you have to get shipping supplies. So maybe you might need 300. So you ask them, you say, no, I declined the 3,000, I, I just need 300. That way it's super easy to pay back. Your interest rate is going to be shorter because you might be able to pay that off in one or two sales as soon as you get your first one or two sales and you pay the bank off and you're done. So that's a, that's a, it's a tricky um, way because the banks will try to give you more than what you need, but I think that they are a great route if nothing, if nothing else works. Um, going to your local bank is definitely a great thing to do. Now, um, you might ask like, well, how did I start my business? So what I did was I personally put money aside and saved. So at that time I was babysitting, like I said, I was door dashing. So um, the money I had like from babysitting and door dashing, I uh, put aside, I think the whole month of June, like I said, I launched my company the end of June. So the whole month of June, I was putting aside $20 here, $20 there, $15 here, $10 here. And by the time, um, you know, the end of June came, I had probably like $300 saved. So that was perfect for me because I was able to go ahead and get my jars, get my um, ingredients, get my packing, um, and get my website domain and everything like that. So that is how I personally did it. I would recommend any of the tips I just gave you because I know people that have done them that, that have done it that way. Um, and you know, they have thriving businesses. So if you guys love these business series type videos, let me know. I love talking to you guys about business. I feel like I've learned so much in my first year of business that I want to share with you guys. So as always, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, leave those down below. You can always DM me on my personal page, on my business page, whichever one if you have any questions. Um, but again, I'll see you guys later. Bye.